Hi everybody, Alejandro here with Otta Robotics and today we're gonna do a brief overview of mission planning inside of the Autel Explorer app. The mission planner is gonna allow you to plan a, a pre-planned route that you want the Evo to fly and to take pictures at the same time. This is gonna be really handy for any sort of commercial users that you need to do any sort of 3D mapping, any sort of land measuring, anything that you really do need that nice pre-planned fixed route. Uh, we have now introduced that so you do have that capability with Evo. So a little bit ago, we, we released our software development kit, our SDK for the Evo. That is gonna allow third-party mapping software companies to go ahead and integrate Evo and the Autel Explorer app into their programs. That way, moving forward, customers will have more options if they already have paid subscriptions to these types of programs uh, to be able to use Evo with those programs. In the meantime, while those uh, software programs are being developed or while Evo is being integrated into those programs, we wanted to give you guys a very easy to use, very simple and also free uh, mission planner built into the Explorer app that way you can get up in the air and planning. Um, so let's jump into it. So what's nice about our mission planner is that you can actually plan missions offline. So you don't have to be up in the air or even connected to the Evo to go ahead and plan a mission before you get out to your site. So let's just jump into the Autel Explorer app. Here on the main screen, you're gonna be given two options, camera and mission. So we're gonna tap on the mission option. You're gonna have a, an option for a new mission, running a rectangular route, and then you're also gonna have a mission history. If you haven't planned a mission, you're not gonna see any sort of mission history whatsoever. So uh, expect that to be blank upon the first time that you open that up. So we'll tap on the rectangular route. That'll by default take you to your current location of where your phone's GPS is tracking you but you can go ahead and zoom out and go to any other location if you need to go to the site that you're planning at or if you need to go to another city, wherever that uh, flight route needs to be planned ahead of time. So we'll just go ahead and currently pick my location. We'll do, we'll tap me. It'll take me back to where I am. And then we're just gonna go ahead and tap on the screen. This will bring up a big rectangle with some lines in there, that's gonna be your path. So those white lines that you see is what the Evo is actually gonna do in real time. So we have the ability to go ahead and rotate this. I'll just fly this route right above this building. We can pinch this rectangle to be smaller. And now that flight route is gonna be right above this building. So right here on the right hand side, you're gonna have a few different options. It's gonna be height speed, course side lap ratio, some camera actions, as well as the finish action. So the height by default, the minimum is gonna be 98 feet, just like our waypoint mission planner that's already built into the Explorer app. Uh, the maximum is gonna be 2,600 feet, which is the theoretical limit of Evo. Next, we're gonna have speed. It can go anywhere from two miles an hour all the way up to 22 miles an hour. The course side lap ratio, that's gonna be how closely the Evo flies these white lines here. So we're at 70% and as you can see, these lines are pretty far away. If I go all the way to 10%, it's basically just gonna be one line taking pictures. And if I go all the way up to 90%, as you can see, now we have about eight lines. So it's gonna fly a much more detailed and coordinated flight route. Then the camera actions here, we're gonna tap time lapse and then that'll bring up how often you want that interval to be. By default, it's gonna be at two seconds, but you can adjust it all the way up to one minute. So that will trigger the camera every 60 seconds. And lastly, we have the finish action here, which is at the end of the route, you can either have the Evo return to home, or you can have it hover in place wherever that last part of the flight route is. What's nice is as you're adjusting all of these settings, so the height, the speed, and the side lap ratio, in the bottom left hand corner, you're gonna get an estimate of what the distance of this flight route is, the estimated time that it's gonna take, as well as how many waypoints it's gonna be. So as you can see, obviously, if I add you know, more of a side lap ratio, it's gonna adjust it to about 20 waypoints, and it's gonna take a minute. But if I bring it all the way down to 10%, it's only gonna be about a six second flight. So it's just gonna fly down the middle and just take a few pictures. And that'll also you know, adjust based off of the speed. So if I set it to be a two mile an hour mission, it's gonna take about 12 minutes. Whereas if I have it at 22 miles an hour, 
it's gonna be at one minute and 11 seconds. So we'll go ahead and we'll adjust this rectangle out here. And what I can do from here is tap this little save button up at the top. It's gonna ask me what I wanna name it. We'll just go ahead and do new one and we'll save it. So now that route is saved successfully and when I go out to fly it, I tap on that mission button and it's gonna be in my saved missions and I can just hook it up to the Evo and uh, we'll go outside and fly it right now. As you can see, we'll have the mission down below in the mission history. We can just tap that open. I'm gonna go ahead and adjust the speed to two miles an hour here. And then we'll also do the core side lap ratio of 90%. And I'm gonna adjust that height back down to 98 feet. Uh, in the top left hand corner, you're still gonna get that nice camera view. But once you do get the Evo up in the air, you get it close to the starting point. You can go ahead and just tap that fly button. As soon as you tap fly, you're gonna get a pre-flight check of everything. So how much memory is in your SD card, how much battery you have left, how a lot of the components are working on the Evo, such as the GPS, the IMU, as well as the compass. And then once you do get through that pre-flight check, you'll tap fly again, and then the Evo will slowly go to the starting point, depending on whatever speed limit you have set. The one thing you will have to do is you're gonna have to go ahead and tilt the camera to whatever angle you want it at to get whatever kind of shot of the site that you're gonna be shooting. So whether that's a some sort of construction site or some sort of other land measuring, you definitely wanna go ahead and adjust the angle to whatever your needs are gonna be. What's nice is even though the Evo is still flying this mission, you can still get that camera view. And then you'll see that we have that two second time lapse there on the right. Once we actually get to the round, the Evo will automatically start taking pictures, so you don't have to worry about hitting that shutter button. Now that we have a hang of how the, the mission works and we got it all started, we'll go ahead and speed through this a little bit. So now that the Waypoint mission is finished, um, you are going to be able to go into the gallery back in your camera view and you will now see all of the pictures that the Evo has taken. Uh, please keep in mind that in, in the preview of the Explorer app, you're go only going to be able to see up to 50 images. So don't worry, all of the images that the Evo took are on your SD card, but you can only see the most recent 50 in the Explorer app. And then once you do have all of that compiled, you can Take the SD card, put it into your computer, and translate those pictures into whatever third-party software program you're using to map or measure um, you know, those pictures with, and uh, you're done. You're done. You did it. So the mission planner is going to fit a lot of commercial and industrial purposes, such as volume data visualization, some crime scene reconstruction, uh, different agricultural uses, as well as some 3D mapping and different types of construction settings as well. And again, moving forward, developers for different software programs are gonna have access to our SDK. So in the future, you will see Evo integrated into more programs that will give you even more capabilities. So that was a brief overview of the Mission Planner. I hope you guys uh, picked up some tips and tricks there as well as how to use the Mission Planner in general. Uh, thank you so much for watching. Go ahead and subscribe to the channel and leave a comment down in a section as to how you're gonna use the Mission Planner. Um, go ahead and follow us on YouTube, all other social media platforms for all the latest news on Alta Robotics. Thanks for watching and have a good one.